So here's the problem I had. Outlook would launch, it would come and it would reside down here in the taskbar. And no matter what I did, I couldn't open it and get it um, in a state where it was uh, normally usable. I don't know what caused it, uh, but I did find through a variety of sites, and I'll post this to the uh, video, um, uh, a list of solutions. None of them kind of all came together in one place, but here they are pieced together for me. So um, if your symptom is that you click on your Outlook in the taskbar and it won't open, then um, this solution might be for you. Mine opens uh, because I did uh, go through and, and do this fix, but I'm going to close this and just uh, ask you guys to pretend that it didn't happen. So the solution for me was this. I went into my Outlook shortcut. Uh, I right-click Get the Properties. And instead of the run in normal window that you see here, uh, change that so that it says Run Maximized. Click OK come back, launch Outlook, and it should open, and it should open with it maximized across the whole window. Now the behavior for me from there was that no matter what I did, if I clicked the restore button or I tried to do anything to resize the window, it snapped down into the taskbar, just like, um, just like I had described earlier, and then again it was stuck there. I couldn't bring it back up. So I uh, had to go and close the window and then start the process again. Then I found another post. The solution to the problem was this. With Outlook open, right click on the taskbar, choose Cascade Windows, which forced Outlook into one of the smaller sizes. And from that point forward, my Outlook worked fine. Now, of course, the suggestion I would make at that point is go back to the shortcut that you edited before, right-click at the properties, and change the run command back to normal window. Click OK. I hope this helps. If not, keep searching. The solution's probably out there. Take care.